on July 6, 2013. A freight car containing 72 tank cars of crude oil that originated from the Bakken Formation runs away while unattended and derails in Lac Megantic, Quebec. Several cars explode, resulting in 42 confirmed dead and five missing and presumed dead. More than 30 buildings in the town's center, roughly half of the downtown area, are destroyed. It is the deadliest rail disaster in Canada since the St. Hilaire train disaster in 1864. We are standing here today to honor Lac Megantic victims, but we are also standing here today in solidarity with all these communities who have already been affected. Guy Bulldock, 43-year-old musician from Montreal, with a 20-year career playing music, leaves two children. Andre Anne Sauvigny, 26. Diane Bézier, 26. David Lacroix Boudouin, 27-year-old steeplejack. Marie-France Boulet. Marianne Poulin, 23 years old. Geneviève Breton, 28-year-old singer. Her first album was due to be released the week after the fire. Like the driverless train accelerating toward the unsuspecting town of Lac Megantic, our exploitation of fossil fuels has itself continued to accelerate, notwithstanding that tragedy. Carloads of crude oil from the Bakken shale deposits of North Dakota and the tar sands of Alberta have grown from a few hundred a year, five years before Lac Megantic, to hundreds of thousands a year presently. We are out of control. Matthew Pelletier, 29-year-old high school math teacher, leaves a wife and three, a three-year-old child. Sylvie Sharon, 50 years old. Henriette Latulipe, a 61-year-old aesthetician. David Martin, 36, and his friend Michael Jr. Gartin, 33. They both perished together. Gartin was the father of two. If the tragic consequences of an oil train explosion two years ago in Lac Megantic were terrifying, what manner of tragedy awaits us if we continue our headlong rush like a driverless train to extract and exploit oil, coal, and natural gas? I know of one such tragedy. Besides the droughts, fires, and floods that these days reach the headlines with increasing frequency, there's a tragedy of immense proportions looming right out there in our oceans. The oceans are warming. And at the same time, from absorption of fossil fuel, fossil fuel related CO2, they are acidifying. And they are warming and growing acid at a stupefying rate, a rate unprecedented in the history of humankind on Earth. As a result, the best scientific studies today are speaking of mass extinctions in the seas within the lifetime of our children if, and this is an all-important if, we are unwilling to transition to 100% clean, renewable energy. April 30th, 2014, United States about 15 tanker cars on a CSX unit train carrying Balkan crude oil through downtown Litchburg, Virginia, derailed along the James River. At least three of the cars broke open and ignited, while also spilling at least 50,000 gallons of crude into the fiery river. No injuries were reported. When we work to protect this planet, we are working to protect its people. 
It is not simply misguided to rush forward with the extraction and exploitation of fossil fuels with all that we know today. It is immoral. It is as stupid and wrong and ugly and indefensible as slaveholding was 150 years ago. And we can be sure that 150 years from now, the militant climate deniers of today will look to a future generation exactly away the way the militant slaveholders of the past now look to us. Thank you.